If you're new to my channel, chances are you probably know me from my video essay style content, but a lot of the old timers, a lot of the people who've been here for a while, they, they know me as a Dokkan God, okay? That's what I ref that's what they refer to me as. I don't know why. They just, they say I I'm the God of Dokkan, the King of Dokkan, whatever. But in that department, I may have competition. The Truth DT, we all know him. We all love him. Great guy. Talks about Dokkan quite a lot, probably even more than I do. And he's got a lot to say about the game. Not to mention, he's a bit of a controversial controversial figure mostly because of the tier list that he puts out where he goes through multiple units and like rates them based on performance etc etc a lot of people know this he makes like a monthly tier list all the time so I took it upon myself to go ahead and react to a tier list that he made less than 15 minutes ago and see just how well this guy is at rating units so anyway let's get right to the reaction Okay, guys, here we are. The Truth DT, you know, he, he he likes to do his tier list every month. So I figured it'd be a fun little video to kind of like react to that. I don't know. I, I don't know, dude. The Dokkan community needs more drama, okay? It needs more drama, right? We need these Dokkan YouTubers to start to start feeding into the con the commentary pool, all right? Start doing some, start calling out Twitter users for crying out loud, man. Gosh, dude, these guys, man, these guys. They're, the, the content for me is, it's like dry, okay? It's dry, to be for real. You can only talk about weirdos on twitter for so long until it gets like you know kind of insane all right but like here we are we're gonna be reacting to the truth dt's tier list uh, i think he's going through easy a t u r s okay sure 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 uh i think like counting super easy a's in this is is a fine thing to do i don't think i don't think they need to be separated there's only two of them so it makes sense that we count them also as easy a t u r s right i'm a little curious as to where he's gonna rank those guys but uh, enough dilly dally enough messing around okay let's just go ahead see what 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 he's saying let's go ahead and see surely I mean, surely, just surely, all right? People like SCR Jiren are on the list, right? Like, we got SCR Jiren up there, right? He's got to be one of the top 10 dogs, right? I mean, who else are we putting? Who, who are you putting up there? Super Boo. We put Super Boo over Jiren the goat i don't think that's yeah, happening some of those characters maybe should have been a bit better um but a lot of the 20 i can already i can already, i'm just gonna go ahead and make my prediction now what i think is going to happen is we're gonna have i mean okay truth I'm, if you do i'm gonna catch you i'm gonna i'm gonna catch you doing something it's gonna be really funny it's gonna be really funny if you do it all right um but how i assume this list is going to be is i think that number one is probably going to be go tanks int go tanks number two i would say maybe kefla three probably probably i would say super saiyan 3 goku four would be go tanks i mean are we putting barnak up there super vegeta is definitely up there uh i think super vegeta you probably make a case for nowadays right especially uh he'd be up on the he'd be in the top 10. i mean like i'm looking at this list there's not very many crazy people Maybe AGL Zamasu, like probably lower 10 spots. Like I said, like eight or nine. Goku Black, I don't even think makes the list. Gogeta, are we still are we still considering Gogeta? Maybe. I mean, he has dodge, but uh, we'll see. What's the main argument? The 24 even gonna be? Easies have actually been very, very good. Um, let's just yeah. start. I mean, the bottom of this list here. So I want to grab Blue Kaioken. And I want to grab AGL Bardock. Really? At like the very bottom? I kind of fit in right here, just like this, right? Well... Um, now, there's really? several other characters. I mean, maybe I'm spoiling a little bit. But there's several other characters I think could be in I think Gotenks is up there. 9, 10, maybe 11, 12, 13, something like that. I think Tech Trunks could probably come... Hold on, hold on, Truth. All I'm going to say is Bardock is relevant now, okay? He's relevant. We we just recently got a uh, legendary Frieza event. You know he he's gonna be killer in that game, in that stage, I believe. So, I mean, he is a relevant character. He is a relevant character. I think he could be up a little 10, higher because 11, of that, right? Something like that. Maybe AGL Gogeta. Maybe Android Thirteen. Right. I, I, I at, at Piccolo as well. Like these characters. I don't know that there's a ton of separation by what some of them are doing. Piccolo, Bardock, and Trunks start out very I do like Piccolo Scouter, I think, bad. more than most of these um, guys. And they all right. can stack. Um, I think the fact that Piccolo even has a Scouter makes him a little bit better. And, like, he's a stacking unit in content where, like, we have... It, it's a lot more long form. Uh, I, I, I like the I like what Piccolo's doing with the Scouter and everything else like that. He's helping out a lot there. Um, I think Piccolo... I think you could probably say Piccolo... Would, for that specifically, I think I think Piccolo could go up there. I think the only problem is though is like Piccolo's teams, right? Where are you running Piccolo at? Uh, I I I think would be the biggest issue. Like, there's not really a place nowadays. So I mean, I, I guess you could also put him a little lower, right? I I think you could argue Piccolo like maybe ten to like 
13, right? I, I think you could definitely argue Piccolo in, in that spot. Android 13, I mean, he just... Android 13, though. He's bro, just... He's not good. I don't know. I mean, maybe my experience no. with Android 13 is a little bit he's skewed bad. because of the artificial life form mission. He's bad, man. Against he's East bad. Gohan, but, he's bad. I mean, Android 13 was just, like, stunning me with how terrible he was in kind of, like, this newer content. Um, But the bottom of this list is just not very good. Uh, yeah. Blue Kaioken, the, the main reason I'll put Bardock above Blue Kaioken, right? Because Blue Kaioken will do so much more damage, and people it are is. obsessed in this community with damage. But the thing about it is that once this guy, I mean, even with his guard. No, dude, stop. Let's stop defending Goku. Can we stop defending this character, by the way? Just even when he had guard in the Fusions of Masu meta, okay? Even then, Goku was getting you killed. 90% of the time with the Android support and everything else like that. I don't, I, I hate, I hated this unit, right? He was good when he first came out because Omega Shenron was like, you know, or Sin Shenron was like the hardest fight in the game and Goku could semi deal with that, right? But like nowadays, he's just getting one tapped by things, okay? This guy sucks. He sucks. If God Goku is getting one tapped by stuff, this guy especially is getting one tapped by things, right? It's not, it's he's not getting close. smoked. Like yeah. he's getting crushed. Even when this guy first came out right here, um, you know, against like Metal Cooler Core and stuff like that, like he could kind of take a lot of damage to push you into Spirit Bomb Threshold. You know, you drop it, you get, you get the big extra damage, blah, blah, blah. I guess blah, he didn't blah. have teams back then. That shit so, just yeah. doesn't even very fly anymore. Crazy ones. I, I'm going to put this guy at 10. At, again, maybe we should. I personally think Piccolo is at 10. I, I think you could put Piccolo at 10. Have like Piccolo there or something like that, hey, but yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah. There we super go. like. No, Piccolo, Piccolo, Piccolo has the utility for it, dude. Going crazy for it's like you have to do it. Like you the have to. The bottom of this list is just not really filled out after the significant jump in difficult content, right? It's not like you know most of 2022 and 2023, you know, we were like you know at a similar level of difficulty and stuff like that, um, you know, to where like there's you know incremental changes, but. A lot of these, you know, kind of like units got flipped upside down with the ninth anniversary. Yeah, most of them are trash so, now. All of them uh, are like next garbage. Next is a character fart. that I think is is probably a, a little bit safely better, um, and that's Android Seventeen. Android Seventeen, he could still get juiced. Oh, by the way, um, Bardock again is a stacker that's really bad. When he transforms, he can be solid. But one thing I think it's very important. I, no, I no, no, it, no, no. The legendary freeze of it, man. Let's go ahead and skip. Let's go. Go, go back to Seventeen. On concept of people overrating a unit's potential <laughs> rather than what they're actually just dude, coming out. Dude, this guy always mentions potential. He always mentions potential, dude. Potential is a viable way to rate a unit, I, I would say, right? I, I think potential is a really good way to rate a unit. All right, look at the droids. For example, look at the droids. Where are they at currently, okay? I mean, sure, they're replaced by Topo, probably. As leaders, they're really bad, but... I mean, you have just one of them on the team, and then you have Topo there, and then, like, the rest of Universe 7, which is completely stacked. You're vibing, bro. Like, are you insane? Potential it would be a really good way to rate a unit, especially one that is similar to Android 17, you know? He didn't have to... He didn't really have very, a, a good spot to be ran in. He got one with the androids. He looks really, 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 really crazy with the androids. And people were saying that when he first released. He's like, okay, if we get things to help this guy out, if he gets a spot... He's going to look really good, and he does look really good on some of the teams that he's on. Maybe not nowadays, right? It, it probably came a little too late for this 17 specifically, but, like, for the androids, they're in, like, their golden era right now, you know? Like, I think potential is a genuinely good way to maybe not rate a unit, but, like, you know, you could be, like, potential... The potential of this unit is really, really good. I, and th there's literally zero problem with that. Um, 17 can he be He likes to bring good, up potential for some reason. He's I don't know. Support. Um, if your HP is low... His I love the 17, by the way. Really cool. Really good. Um, he has a couple of different teams we could rock him on. He, of course, is a superhero character. We could also run him on the Android team, which is at least, um, well, I mean, it's decent-ish. <laughs> Potopo! Right? Like, it, he exists! Work there. Um, he's solid. If you're at full health, he is a big-time risk. You know, he will take a lot of damage. But yeah. with that damage reduction up, he can be very effective, right? So I, I kind of like Some, 17. I don't know. Right I don't think the damage reduction. Uh, damage reduction nowadays is not enough. It ain't enough, okay? It ain't enough. You have to have some guard on top of it, I think. That's what, that's what I want all my units built on. Guard and DR. Some Next sort of DR. Next we have in future Gohan. Um, definitely feels a little low here for in future uh, Gohan, but one thing that I've found is Trunks. Yeah, I guess has he, hold on. I guess he does get DR, and then he also does he not have guard too? Yeah, he he has guard and DR at a certain amount of HP, which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. Um, 
Like 58% damage reduction in guard, like that's huge. That's massive. Quickly fallen off yet again. Like all of the trunks yeah, are the trunks. very <laughs> iffy. I am not a fan. Remember when this guy was coping for super trunks, by the way? I just want to say that. This guy at the beginning of the year, he was like, you can't do these events without super trunks anymore. Of sort He's of so old trunks. Whatsoever. Trunks sucks, dude. Um, he was he's he, just way awful. too offense without a, a lot of defense right now is what that sort of hope trunks is you have your one turn where yeah, you can do trunks. the sort of hope standby but the problem for that trunks is his good standby ability it it's it is just like lr super all of those worldwide down celebration units actually just uh, all of the worldwide down celebration units are just like fodder at this point right like even fusions of masu i would say is pretty bad the only one who i could say and that this is specifically because he has dodge is the uh well i guess future gohan's pretty good too but i i don't really think like the damage reduction is enough anymore it's just okay it's pretty good um and that's after you super attack you have to run him in slot too uh so future gohan's pretty good i and i guess vegeto blue too is probably the, one of the better aging ones so fusions of masu for that first turn pretty good but like now that these events go on for a long ass time you're not really getting the, the value you used to out of them. So. We're saying for Goku. It's a bit sad. All of them are pretty bad right now. Or for only one turn. Like, not the best. Once you've, you know, gone into that standby mode. Um, and then after that one turn, I mean, Trunks reverts back to base. And full power is is still, like, very solid. But he's just solid after that first turn um, once you get to full power. But Trunks kind of being weakened hurts this guy a bit. He's still pretty useful with his support. He can have the damage reduction if HP is less. Um, <clears throat> I've seen this guy look both very impressive in some of the newer content, and I've also seen him get absolutely just blasted. Um, it, it's kind of, you know, he, he can He's basically good. like, he he's basically be. Super Trunks at this point, right, Truth? I mean, you could say that, right? He's basically like a, a smaller version of Super Trunks, right? Right here. Um, uh... Next, we're going to go ahead and grab... Uh, okay, I mean, I guess I got to think about who are we putting above Vegeta. Super... Okay, so we so Super Vegeta, okay? We have, after Super Vegeta, number six. I'm guessing he's probably going to go for... I mean, who are the who are the best ones here? We got Gotenks. Yeah, it's, it's going to be these four. Gotenks, easy, Super Easy Egg Gotenks, Kefla, and then Super Easy Egg Goku, right? Well, I guess we have... Oh, my God. Like, who? Who? who who's the other... Who are we putting above him? Definitely not, not Jiren. Maybe Super Vegeta. I probably, I think Super Vegeta is probably gonna be the next one, right? Right here. Um, I, I, I think Super Vegeta is fine. Um, this is one of those. I could, I, I could see, I could see Super Vegeta being put over him. This where again, like, focus on what the character actually does, and this guy does just truckloads of damage because he has guaranteed crits right. with the one hundred percent chance to and stuns, and stuns, crit you are going to see this vegeta really do a lot of damage over the the moment that we're able to get like a moment there's a stage where we can stun an enemy vegeta's gonna his value is gonna skyrocket i think this vegeta would be a lot better if his guard wasn't for the first five turns one thing to keep in mind oh i i only brief i i keep saying this dude i keep saying this but building units for long form content is just way healthier for the game because p built units that are also built for long form content most likely going to be better and or are going to be do good in short form content as well. I'm not talking about units that just stack, right? Like those, obviously those guys aren't going to be the craziest, right? But like a unit like Beast Gohan, where, you know, he's good. He's super strong for most of the fight. And then he gets a little, he tapers off a little bit, like at the end. That is like peak design to me. Uh, it makes the fight a little bit more interesting at the end of fights, but also like the bulk of the fight you're decimating, right? We got into that because well, Bardock, gets stronger as the fight goes on, whereas Blue Kaioken gets weaker, right? Yeah, we don't like you in a second weaker. Separating like those two. Weaker. Um, but the guard for the first five turns, all that does is leave Vegeta exposed when it becomes time to deal with the toughest phases. Yeah. But, I mean, I found this guy to be a reasonable character to run in a lot of the tough content. Um, again, reasonable is what I would say. Maybe not elite, though. I gotta wonder, man. Um, who are you putting above him? next... Thing? I would actually grab super Ooh. easy a dragonfish what? right here. Okay, wait, wait, um, wait, 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 wait. What? Hold on, man. Okay. So now, so we have super, we have go tanks. We have super easy a go tanks. Kefla. These two are are all like they they have to be at the top of the list. There's zero shot they're not. 
Who are we putting above Beerus? No freaking, no, no freaking shot. He's basically the Super Vegeta, but a bit worse now. Uh, it, dude, there's um, no way. Now, is it Gogeta? I, there's I, no it's, shot. It's pretty crazy, right? Like now that we have these super easies in here, I like he's very good, right? Like he does get a little bit weaker after the first couple of turns, the same way Super Vegeta does. But the difference is that this guy actually has a defensive mechanic, like Dodge. the entire way through the fight. Whereas Super Vegeta, you know, he loses his defensive mechanic after only the first five. Dodge turns. guys, it's Dodge. I found this guy it's to Dodge. be very solid. Actually, a pretty impressive character, considering you know how old he is. This is a twenty. He's not. Character. No, stop it. Stop it. He is a 2024 character now, all right? He came out 2015, sure. He is not he does not have the kit of a 2015 unit. This is a 2024 character. 2015. That's the first year of Dokkan. And yes, he's actually like again very a, a very effective character here. Um but I he, do like him. He Okay. I love how he, I love when he does that though. That's like it's uh, hilarious. I think it's I think it's adorable. All right. Yeah, sure, sure. This unit that came out in 2015 really good nowadays. No, he's not. Imagine, dude. That kid is not the the 2015 kid is not carrying him in 2024 content. It's that 2024 kid. He's a 2024 character. Damn it. Damn you. That's the guaranteed crit for first turn. I mean, this really, I guess, isn't that good, though. This, like, the first crisis. turn guaranteed crit is really good in Battlefield, Super Battle Road. But, like, you know, Supreme Battle Spe Supreme Battle Spectacle stages, that's not really that good. It's another thing with people's obsession with damage is that oftentimes, especially with the way the meta is right now, um, you know, just blowing away, like, the first phase of Beast Gohan or Gogeta, like, in record time as fast as you can is usually very stupid to do because you're just going to get faster to these bosses that are super new for 3 million and are yeah. doing, you know, normal attacks that are like 1.5 million. Well, hold on. It's not like, I mean, the one crit, I guess, for the first turn. I mean, I sure, I guess you could make that argument. But like, is Super Saiyan 3? Well, I guess, I mean, he is launching a bunch of additionals too, right? I guess I guess I could see that argument. It's sure. like, you know, you, you do want a little bit of time to build up and then eventually, you know, be able to take advantage of big uh, damage and capabilities later on. So this actually is not the greatest that he does that. Um, but he still has this right here throughout the entirety of the fight. Um, with that extra defense, with his dodge, with his crits, I, I found him to be a, a he's fairly He's pretty good. Character. Yeah, he's a good, he's a good character. Um, all right, so more. next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold the damn phone. I remember being like, Truth, why aren't you using AGL Zamasu in this in this super boss's run? And then I'm getting met with the, oh, Are you stupid? He's not gonna not for the... Whatever. I dude. actually really love I, Actually, you. maybe I'm misremembering that. Let me give Truth a little bit more credit. But I think that's ridiculous. That, I... That's insane. That is insane. There's no shot. No shot. AGL Zamasu's performance... Uh, what's his reasoning? Let me hear you. Um, Let me hear about, battle I guess. Meta. Um, a lot of it is Tech Fusion Zamasu. It, from my experience, he's a lot better than people give him credit for, Tech Fusion Zamasu. It's one of those things where, like, I, he's frustrated the hell out of me a couple of times, but, like, I can't stop running him. And there's a reason for that, right? Like, with. Well, yeah, I mean, the damage reduction he has, like, for the first couple of turns is really good. It's those last couple of turns, right? I feel like Fusion Zamasu. He would be really, really good in the Beast Gohan fight. I, I think I, I think in the Beast Gohan fight, Fusion Zamasu could work out pretty well because that's nowhere near as long as I'd say the uh, the Gogeta fight, right? Like the Gogeta fight just has so many phases. I could see him working out in, in uh, Beast Gohan for sure uh, because Beast Gohan has that AGL phase. Uh, he, he hits him with melee attacks, right? Like I could see that happening. He could keep his damage reduction way longer there. Um, and you got people like Broly and stuff like that to help cover him as well. So, I mean, that, that makes sense. Yeah, I can see. I think Future Zamasu, it, you know, Minato, Minato Slash, we were talking about this the other day on the podcast. He really likes to kind of take a look at how units perform in different events and varying events, right? Like what units, you know, that are maybe looked at a little bit lower uh, regard um to some players right and taking them into events that they could work out in and i think fusion zamasu could definitely be a pretty helpful option in in beast gohan so i guess i could see that that being the case gogeta's a little bit scarier though for that character with his damage reduction um you know in particular the villain teams because villains a lot of times saiyans just are kind of like like vegeta and trunks is like a typical 
like, Saiyan character in Dokkan, right? Vegeta and Trunks. Whereas, like, villain characters oftentimes tend to have, like, debuffs and, and different types of things like that. Like, it, it just feels like the villains are set up a little bit better for Cell Max. And, you know, like, Tech Fusion Zamasu, HL Fusion Zamasu, these characters are really good. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this helps Dragon Fist, too. I did not mention this. AGL is probably the best typing to be right now. Um, you know, the some of the hardest bosses you're going to encounter are uh, STR Blue Gogeta and STR Cell Max. And they're both STR. So AGL is a king size uh, typing right now. And there are <clears throat> no crazy tech bosses um, amongst all the hardest fate. I, I guess the hard... I think the one thing that's confusing me about this guy is even with his like... So I guess I got to wonder like where is Truth running this character that he's like really, really good on, right? Like is it super bosses? Like what is he... What teams is he running this guy on where he's putting him like as high as he is on the list, right? Because Broly's team is really, really... Uh, well, <laughs> chill out. Broly's team... Okay, not super bosses, but the team as a whole is pretty good. I mean, I could see that being ran there and working out really, really well with for Zamasu. But at that point, it's like, I mean, let's take a look at some of the options that are on the team now, right? We have Broly, we have Topo, we have, uh, I mean, are we running future Zamasu? I don't think so. There, There's going to be Easy A Kefla here in a couple months. I mean, uh, Beast Gohan, uh, Gogeta, Broly Trio. <laughs> I know Truth laughed at that one. I know he laughs at that one. He hates that character. Uh, but Broly Trio. I mean, like, at that point, like, we, we've we got this team full of characters that work pretty damn well together. Why? What's the point of running Fusion? What's the point of running Zamasu? You know, like, he, that's, even some points, I'd say he's probably getting you killed more often than not. It, like, that first phase, like, there's going to be situations where this character just gets you killed most of the time. You know, either he gets hit with a super attack in the last slot, at, you know, as his first turn or something, right? Like, I, I don't think Fusion Zamasu is, or is, like, that cracked. He, he's not that insane. I think it's a bit insane that he's this high up on the list, but I, I I, I could probably be reasoned with. Maybe I'm just wrong, but I mean, like, the one team that I would run him, I would run him on, I, I don't think I'd want to, right, with a lot of these characters in the game. Hardest tech boss? But sure. But sure. What do I know? Um, well, I guess it's the UI sign Goku in that fight is pretty tough in the UI Goku Supreme Battle Spectacle fight. Um, there's Bojack in Red Zone Movie Boss Rush. Uh, but neither of those bosses even super for over 2 million. So it, it's like AGL is really the, the good typing right now, right? Or, where you're going to be uh, set completely. There, There's no counter to... Well, I, oh, 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 I, I'm, I'm silly. The tech Super Saiyan Gogeta in the Gogeta phase. He's the nastiest tech boss in yeah, the game, Yeah, that's sure. one of the nastiest Yeah, ones. that Gogeta fight has the nastiest... And, I mean, like, he, this Zamasu even built, like, even built up a little bit. Like, he dies to that boss. And the nastiest right, if he gets tech super... boss in the game. Don't want to say um, that. He probably, he probably dies. Because he supers for, like, 2.5 million. He, hit, he, he hits really hard. Twice. But, anyway, I'm, I'm blabbering away. He no! Was, defend your... Oh, whatever, dude. I'll defend the position you asked. This guy, this guy is stacking. He's healing. He's supering. Um, he's a pretty effective character. One of the few good Big Bad Bosses characters that exist in the game right he's now. He's good. I don't um, think he's I, like... I, I think he's a little too high, good. though. That's right, okay. Next, we actually have Int Gotenks. I... <gasps> no! Fill out the, Shot! The top three right here. So... And then, I, I guess I should also mention a little bit of an... Truth... Why is she up there? You don't have her yet, Truth. That's a global exclusive right now. You don't have her. You don't have access to her. What are you doing, man? Why is she up so high? We're, we're talking about JP. This is JP exclusive, my guy. This should be a JP exclusive list. We don't have access to Kefla yet. Why is she up so high, man? What are you doing there? An What's going on, buddy? Here. Um, asterisks. I, that's that's a word. Um, I always no, up. I, I think that. here's what I think. Personally, I think Truth is a fraud. All right, not the King of Dokkan, not the LR King. Okay, that title still remains with me. I think this is. I think I've been pretty based and, and fair and opinion. You know, open to his opinion here. But I mean, this is this is insane. We don't have access to Kefla. We don't. We don't. We don't have Kefla yet. Truth. What, why is she so high? What is going on? The truth wouldn't play on a private. No, not for Kefla. No, um, he wouldn't do I would that. put Kefla at one, but I I feel like Kefla should go at one. But I have not used her. Ah, you you psychopath! 
you know what? It's not out on JP. So, <laughs> so I, I don't really want to make too many uh, arguments for Kefla uh -huh, uh -huh. or against Kefla. I kind of, like, I, I have a general feeling, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I've watched... You know, that's the Twitter argument, dude. You know, like that's the private that's the private server Twitter argument. You know what? Whatever, man. That was fun. Oh, that's funny. That was funny. I think I think I might do this again. This is a funny video to make. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. I, I don't know. I, me personally, I think Gotenks Tanks could probably be up there. Uh, I'll, I think it could be up there. I don't have Kefla yet. I haven't used Kefla. I'm not going to, you know, sit here and say Kefla is probably number one, right? I'm not going to do that for a unit I haven't used yet. So uh, based off of my experience, I like Go Tanks. I like Super Easy Ego tanks as well. I think they're both really, really good units. I've been insane. I've been insane. I tap it insane, dude. Who, who'd have thought? Truth was a private server junkie this entire time. Oh, disappointing to see. What a, a fall from grace.